Hi, welcome to uh, another brew review, and tonight I'm going to uh, review another beer from uh, from Meantime Brewery in, in London. Uh, last time I I uh, reviewed the Hospital Porter, uh, which is an excellent porter. This is a little different style. This is the Meantime Smoke Bock. Uh, you don't, to my knowledge, see this type of style that much in English beers um, and it's a 6.5 percent ABV it should be a little smoky Let's see how this is there we go sometimes you never know it comes right off okay and the, uh, the bottle date on this is actually uh, June, it's Best Buy June for, in uh, 2014. It smells kind of fruity. No smoke from there. And let's take a little sample. And um, Okay, so a little more. Okay, so you can see that it's a very nice, um, like a light brown, typical of this style color, caramel, you'd almost say, and then the very, very um, small head, it's not even a finger. I'm not getting too much smoke from this, but I'm getting a lot of fruit. It's interesting. Oh, now I'm getting smoke. Light peaty smoke, but also a lot of fruit. And the smoke um, comes from uh, beechwood smoked uh, malts from Bavaria. Okay, this is damn unusual. Not what I expected. It's really good, but very different. I have to say, it's one of the peatiest beers I've, I've had. I don't drink too many German beers. Um, All right, this is, if you like peat, and maybe the peat is the, uh, is synonymous with smoke, and maybe that's what they mean. Like peat in a single malt. It's very similar. Uh, it's very unusual. I don't think I've ever had a beer this, this peaty. Lots of malt, some caramel. Oh, let's see the temperature it is. I forgot to take the temperature. Hopefully, it uh, should be about right. Let's see what I've got here. Just took it out of the refrigerator. Hmm, that's funny. A little high. But, uh, oh no, it's not bad. It's about... Uh, 51, that's odd, thought it was going to be colder, it's about 51 Fahrenheit, should be a little colder, but it's still quite good, it's about 10 centigrade, but uh, it's still, still really great. Because uh, I think that the, the, <coughs> Serving temperature is somewhere between 7 and 10 centigrade or up to about 50 degrees. Okay, let's try it in a Pilsner glass. I'm very interested in this. I normally drink my... Um, let's take one more temperature. I just want to make sure this is right. 
Yeah. Okay. Get more carbonation in the Pilsner glass now. Not as much fruit or peat. Better than Stein. Much better. There's no comparison, actually. This is the recommended glass. Uh, this and a, a balloon glass, which I don't really own. Okay. As it's warming up, I kind of like it better. It's a little, it's mellowing out. Um, I'm wondering whether I uh, should drink it at, uh, you know, about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So, this is a very unusual beer. Uh, as far as I know, the company, meantime, does not uh, brew it any longer. Uh, at least currently, they're not brewing it. Uh, it's probably very hard to find. But if you like a peaty, smoky box, this is a German style. It's really worth trying. I'd give it about... 9092. Uh, scores really uh, ranged from you know, good grades on, on Beer Advocate to um, lower, you know, the th three, uh, 3 3.3 3 and things like that. But it's really well worth drinking. And drink it e either in a <clears throat> balloon glass or one of these, and you get a full flavor. And uh, until the next time. Cheers.